Rosa Bonheur was born outside of Paris in 1822 to a family of artists. She became an art specialist, mostly by working with her father, who, in his large paintings, employed all of his children to assist him. She became quite famous and, with her success, opened her own studio where you can see here she painted by a very large window for natural light and kept her animals right there within like a barn setting with her. One thing that's most known about her was that she owned several lions in her lifetime. One, by the name of Nero, was her pet. She would even let him sleep in the house. Like all artists, Rosa Bonheur also spent time practicing. Not every piece of art was meant to be completely finished. She had to work at getting everything lifelike. Here is a more finished painting. She never went to Africa or saw the lions in the wild. Only within her setting outside of Paris or in her studio. This is the painting we're going to use to model our artwork from today. Nero the Lion laying down. To begin our guided drawing of the lion, we want to first make sure that our paper is a laying down rectangle. That's very different from standing up. Turn your paper, then we're going to use our finger to find what we think is the center of the paper. Once you have the center of the paper, we're going to begin by drawing the lion's nose. So, I just want you to make a laying down line between your finger and the edge of the paper. Then we can move our finger out of the way. We're going to put a V under that line. So I like to start with a dot and then go up and up. You can color that in to be the lion's nose. We're going to make two standing up lines from the edge of his nose, like a number 11. Then, if you want to change colors, you can. I'm going to make two rainbow lines up and over. Then, for his eyes, two dots. And to finish the shape of the eyes, I'm going to add two smile lines right under the rainbow, down and up, down and up. If you want to give your lion eyelashes, you could do that right now. A lion's smile is like a letter J. We'll start by putting our oil pastel right at the point of his nose and coming around like a fish hook, down and around, down and around. I'm going to do it to both sides. Now, the hair around the lion's face is not very long. So we're going to choose a color and just put a small little circle right around our lion's face. You could even make two rainbows on top to be his ears. Then, if you want to give him a mane, you can do it with just one color or you could use lots of colors just by making radiating lines 
that stick out. Like I said, you might want to try a couple of colors and see how the oil pastels kind of mix together when one gets on top of another. They're a little bit different from crayons. I always like how smooth they feel when they rub on the paper. Next, we're going to make another laying down line to be the lion's back. It's kind of a diagonal, so it starts up high on his mane here and kind of leans down on its way to the other side of the paper. Now we're going to put a capital C here to go around our lion's bum. But now to make his back foot, I want you to think about the number two. So we're going to start right here inside our letter C. We're going to come up and down, sort of like an ear. Or if you make a straight line under it, you can see it's a number two. On the end of our number two, we can do some loop-de-loops and give our lion some toes. And then come over and back. That was sort of like a laying down L. Now our lion has a back leg. We can give him a tummy with a short laying down line. And for his front legs, think about letter L. So we start up here by his mane and we're going to come down and then over. That's his elbow we made. Here's where he will make his toes, around, around, around. We're going to make a backwards L on the other side for his other front leg. So start by the mane, down to the elbow, and over. Then around, around, around to make his toes. Right now, our lion looks like he doesn't have a tail. So if you want to make a little curvy line that sticks up, and give it a little puff on the end because a lion has a tail with a little puff on the end to help him shoe flies. Don't forget to add your name to your picture. I'm going to add my name with the blue like I did my eyes. Very nice. If you have time, you might want to make your lion have some texture looks like fur if you just make little short laying down lines and just like on the mane if you want to you can add more than one color short little laying down lines gives you texture in your art it looks like fur Good job.